Assalamualaikum and good day everyone uh, So today we are going to discuss a new chapter in biology KSSM form 4 which is the new topic chapter 15 Sexual Reproduction, Development and Growth in Humans and Animals So today in this video we are going to discuss the 15.1 Reproductive System of Human as the introductions for this subtopic, we are going to discuss about the importance of this system in human, which is the important is to increase the number of uh, populations of species, which is involved in the process of sexual or asexual reproduction. For the sexual reproduction, it will involve the productions of female and male gametes, all right, which is the ovum and sperm when the individual have uh, reached the sexual maturity okay so the process of reproduction will be completed with the fertilization process and it will form a new uh, lives all right so this is a revision i'm sure all of you have a prior knowledge about the process of the reproduction in human which is it will involve the female and male and then the male will produce uh, the female gamete which is the ovum and the male will produce the sperm and it will undergo the fertilization process then it will form the zygote the zygote will undergo the mitosis process and form embryo uterus and become a baby all right so in this chapter actually you are going to discuss how are the formations of the ovum and also the formations of sperm in the next subtopic so stay tuned with that all right now we proceed with the female reproductive system of human oh, as well uh previous uh slide i'm sure all of you also have a prior knowledge about the female reproductive system since we have discussed this in the lower form right so in the female reproductive system it consists of several parts which is consists of uterus so this is the uterus all right so we got fallopian tube right and left this is the right uh, this is the right uh, fallopian tube meanwhile this is the left fallopian tube then we got ovary here all right this is the ovary and here is the cervix all right and here is the vagina Okay, let me discuss more details about uh, the characteristics and functions for each part. Okay, now let me discuss about the functions of the ovary. Here is the ovary. So the functions of ovary is to the number one is to produce the ovum. Okay, this we pronounce in the plural, we call it ova. And second one is the, to produce female sex hormone which is estrogen and progesterone please remember uh, this type of uh, sex hormone because we will discuss this later in the next subtopic right okay the next one is the structure of the uterus okay here is the structure of uterus so the characteristic is here is thick yeah they are at the the bar and it's a muscular wall, right? So, dekat pada bahagian ni, dia akan ada wall yang tebal. Alright. And then, uh, the inner wall is lined with the endometrium tissue. So, here is the endometrium tissue. Okay. Alright. The functions of endometrium tissue is to secrete the mucus and reach in the blood vessels. The function for the uterus is for the implantation, yeah, iaitu penempelan, sekiranya berlaku kehamilan. And next function is to supply the embryo with nutrients and oxygen since the endometrium tissue is thick and rich in blood vessel. Okay. Next is about the fallopian tube. Okay, so the characteristic of the fallopian tube is thin and muscular tube. Okay, it got tube there. And besides that, it also lined with the cilia. Okay, what is cilia? As you can see here in the diagram, this is the structure of cilia. Alright, 
So the functions of psyllium is when it combined with the peristalsis process, it will help the delivering of the secondary oocyte and the embryo through to the uterus. So it will swap, help swap the secondary oocyte or the embryo into the uterus. Okay, next one is the vagina, which is a canal where the sperm will enter. And there is also a function for the passage for the birth and also for the menstruation. Last but not least is the cervix, which is it is a narrow opening to the uterus, which is secret mucus, and it also functioning in help uh, sperm to swim up to the fallopian tube. So here is the cervix. Okay. Now, let me continue discuss the male reproductive system of human. As you can see here, there are several parts, alright, which is it will involve the seminal vesicle. If I can close it up, alright, uh, let's try. Okay, so here is the seminal vesicle. Um, this is the middle part here is the prostate gland, alright. Here is the sperm duct this is to the testes and the scrotum okay and this is the penis and urethra okay the functions of testes the characteristics are located within the scrotum the function is to produce sperm which is the male gametes and also to produce the male sex hormone which is testosterone Next one is the prostate gland. Yeah, the functions of the prostate gland here is the prostate gland to secrete the fluid that helps the sperm movement. Right, we continue with the seminal vesicle. Here is the vesi uh, seminal vesicle, okay, which is a function to secrete the fluid with a uh, nutrient for the sperms. Next one is the sperm duct. So here is the sperm ducts. There are two sperm ducts here. So the functions for the sperm transported through the sperm duct is also known as the vas deferens. Okay, nama lain dia adalah vas deferens. And it have a scrotum here. The structure, the characteristics are the sac like structure that holds. So the function is to hold and to protect the testes. Penis, which is the characteristic of the penis, is rich in soft tissue and blood vessels. The function is to release sperm into the female vagina during copulation. Last one is the urethra. The characteristic is a tube structure for the discharge of sperm and urine from the body. With that, we have uh, completed for 15.1 and I hope you can ready for a second subtopic which is consists of 15.2, the gametogenesis in human. Okay, see you then.